Uh, this O'Reilly article says that it's the end of programming. If you don't know O'Reilly, it earns money by selling programming books. So I am not sure what they are trying to do here, uh, but this article will be the full detailed one with evidence. So it's happening right now and people are screaming that it's the end of programming. But hold up, not so fast. It's not the end, folks. It's just the end of programming as we know it today. And if it sounds dramatic, stick around because this story's got more twists than a Marvel plotline. Let's rewind the tape. Way back to when programmers were basically electricians, plugging wires into machines like they were building Frankenstein's monster. Then came binary code, flipping switches like it was a bad arcade game. Did that last forever? Nope. Assembly language crashed the party, letting coders use words instead of ones and zeros. And suddenly, programming wasn't just for the mad scientists anymore. But here's the kicker. Did that kill programming jobs? Nah, it made more programmers because more people could actually do it. Fast forward and we get Fortran, C, Java, fancy high-level languages that turned coders into wizards casting spells through keyboards. Each time the old skills got dusty, but the game didn't end. It leveled up. Then the web hit, and boom, anyone with a browser and a dream could slap together a website. WordPress showed up and your aunt could build a blog without touching code. Did programmers vanish? Nope, we got front-end ninjas, back-end gurus, and a million new jobs, because the easier it got, the more people wanted in on the action. And now, here we are. Uh, AI tools like chatty little code bots that'll write Python faster than ever. But did they mean it? You just tell it what you want, and bam, instant program. Some folks are losing their minds, thinking this is the final death blow for software engineering. But if I thought that was true, I'd be sipping pina coladas on a beach right now, not talking to you fine people. Truth is, AI's not the Grim Reaper. It's more like a turbocharged sidekick, changing the game, not ending it. Here's the deal. When stuff gets easier, more people jump in. AI's basically handing out coding superpowers to everyone. Your grandma might whip up an app to track her knitting by next week. But when she wants it to actually work without crashing her phone, guess who she's calling? Yep, a real programmer. See, the more people play with code, the wilder the ideas get, and those big, messy, brilliant ideas need pros to make them real. It's not less work, it's more, just fancier. Now, let's get real for a sec. The programmers who might be toast, the ones who dig their heels in, clutching their ancient tools like, nah, I don't need no AI. Sorry, buddy, but that's a one-way ticket to obsolescence town. Like Steve Yegi says, it's, it's the death of the stubborn developer, not the craft itself. The rock stars of tomorrow, they're the ones hugging AI like a new best friend, learning to sling code faster and smarter. Junior devs who master this stuff could outshine crusty seniors who won't budge. It's savage, but it's the truth. AI is not just writing Hello World apps, it's cracking open whole new worlds. Picture this, AI agents chatting with other AI agents, running businesses, automating everything. Sounds cool, right? But it's not magic you can wish into existence. Someone's gotta build the pipes, the rules, the guardrails. Think agent infrastructure, coordination, all that jazz. That's not AI doing it solo, that's programmers with their caffeine and keyboards making the future happen. It's a coding gold mine, not a graveyard. So is this the end of programming? No way. It's just programming hitting the reset button, and honestly, it's hype-worthy. Spoiler alert, more in demand than ever. That's all for today.